Good morning, everyone, and welcome to this uh, special council meeting of the Town of Oakville's Council. And uh, <laughs> welcome, one and all. Uh, Madam Clerk, do we have any regrets for this meeting? We have regrets from Councillor Elgar and Councillor Noel. All right. And uh, Council, do we have any declarations of pecuniary interest? Councillor Laporte. Yes, good morning, Mr. Mayor. Um, as the treasurer of the BIA Bronte, um, I would like to abstain from that vote uh, at the appropriate time. Um, I don't see any others. Madam Clerk. Council, that brings us to our consent item, which is the 2015 tax levy bylaw and the recommendation is that the tax levy bylaw be passed. And um, I thought, uh, I, I imagine you've all read the report and I imagine you're satisfied with it, uh, but I thought it would be good to mention uh, the little bright uh, aspect of it. Who wants, to, who wants to do that? Lynn, would you like to do that? Nancy, would you like to do that? <laughs> or maybe, uh, Maybe uh, Councillor Adams and, and uh, Nancy Sully would like to uh, sing this together or something, but it is indeed. Hello? It's bad news. It's not, I don't know if it's on or not. Can you hear me? Okay. Can you hear me? Okay. Oh, okay. There. Uh, it's, actually, it's actually quite good news. So our overall increase was 1.7% when we did our budget. However, when the region goes through and does their tax policy um, and the shifts with CBA, et cetera, our overall increase is now only 1.6%. So that, that's very good news. Um, it works out the region's increase of 1.6, the way that's an average increase. So the way it falls to each municipality differs and ours we actually benefited this year. Is that something that could have been anticipated or is it one of those completely random pieces of good news. It, it's completely random. There is no way, <laughs> well, it's not totally random. It, 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 yeah, that's right, sorry. No, it's not random. It's just there's no way that you could know when you're doing your budget. It's not until the region receives all the information from all of the municipalities that they go through and they, they do their tax policy. That's when this is determined. So there's no way at budget time that we would be able to anticipate this. I guess we'll have to thank the region then. Yes, we will. <laughs> All right, thank you very much. Is there anything else to present to council on this matter? Lynn? No? All right, council, are you satisfied? Then we need a mover and seconder. Councillor Adams, Councillor Hutchins. All those in favor? Opposed if any, and that is carried, along with the good news. Now the discussion item is the 2015 budgets for the BIAs. And the recommendation is that the 2015 recommended budget for the downtown Oakville business improvement area requiring a levy of $871,285 as shown in Appendix A attached to the report dated April 2nd from the Finance Department be approved. That the 2015 recommended budget for the Brawny Village business improvement area requiring a levy of $334,750 as shown in Appendix B, attached to the report dated April 2nd from the Finance Department be approved. Third, that the 2015 proposed budget for the Kerr Village Business Improvement Area, subject to annual general membership approval, requiring a levy of $373,874, as shown in Appendix C, attached to the report dated April 2nd from the Finance Department be approved that any fourth that any subsequent revision or reallocation of funds within these budgets be approved by the relevant board of management by resolution and provided to the treasurer or designate of the town who shall determine the significance of the change and advise if it requires council approval and five that the boards of management ensure the procurement of supplies and services within their approved budgets meet the requirements of the town's purchasing bylaw Councillor Duddick. Thank you, Your Worship. Um, just through you to staff, I just wanted to thank them for all their hard work. Um, 
it certainly assists me in reviewing the various budgets that we've got some similarity in format so that we can adequately capture, provide comparisons. So I just wanted to say thank you very much. I know the Curb EIA has been very appreciative of the time and effort you put into it. So thank you. Thank you, Councillor Duddick. Councillor Robinson. Thank you, Worship. Yes, sir. I too would like to thank and congratulate uh, Ann Sargent in particular. She's the one that, uh, and Roger, of course, is the uh, appointed treasurer. Hours and hours and hours of bringing this thing together. And I was just wondering if there's any reason why we couldn't reflect the three respective increases for this year. In other words, downtown Oakville, 1%. Bronte 2.9 and Kerr Street 2%. I'm wondering if there's any reason why we couldn't reflect those numbers in the motion. They'd be a little easier to pick up. And if, if you'll allow it, I would like those included in the motion. Um, if you want to change it, I'd like you to write it out, please. It's it's unnecessary. But, and uh, and uh, it, a much more appropriate place would be in the news release. And as council's official spokesperson, I would undertake to make sure it's in the news release. Well, I know, okay, I'll, that's fine. I would have liked to have seen it in the actual motion so that it's on record forever and ever, but I guess the report is on record. Yes, it is. Okay, okay. Maybe we can, maybe we can reach a happy compromise here. Okay. All right. I'll give you a motion. Thank you. A motion was the next thing I was looking for. Councillor DeMoff, are you seconding? Thank you very much. All those in favor? Oh, we're separating out uh, the brawny one, and we're only voting on the rest. All those in favor? And uh, that carries. So now we're going to vote on the brawny one. All those in favor? Opposed, if any. The minutes will show that Councillor Lafworth did not participate. And that carries. Council, that completes our business this morning. Thank you for your time and attention. It would be very good to have a mover and seconder for the bylaws. Councillor O'Meara and uh, Councillor Grant, was that your hand? <laughs> All those in favor? Opposed, if any, and we are adjourned.